Okay, there's a five band equalizer, which has got boost and cut for 10 kilohertz, 3.4 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, 240 hertz and 60 hertz. I'll just put some white noise through and just show you those controls working. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's the equaliser. There's also the reverberation. I'll put a tone through here and then uh, increase the reverb so you can hear the effect. Okay. Okay, that's with the reverb off. A bit more reverb. And on maximum. Okay, while we're in this uh, area, we have a headphone socket which takes a pair of stereo headphones uh, with a level control. You can also plug a speaker into here because this output is about a one watt output, so it will actually drive a speaker. But you've got to use a stereo socket, a stereo plug rigged up to that, and the output is then adjustable via the level control. And the socket on the back is where the main output is taken. That's what uh, we've got connected up now with an accompanying on-off switch and an output level control. So that's the output uh, output stage. Okay, the external input devices allows uh, the connection of up to two audio uh, instruments or microphones. It can be any source, guitar, microphone, uh, CD player, anything you want to feed through here. And then the sound can be processed through external uh, one and two inputs. Uh, there is also a trigger output. Now what that does is when the input level reaches a certain threshold, which is adjustable by the level control, it will cause a trigger the trigger can then be used to control uh, things like the envelope controller or the transient generators. Now I've hooked this up uh, to a microphone on the input and I'll just show you by tapping the microphone it will create a trigger and that will uh, uh, trigger the oscillator. So let's, uh, let's just show you that. So that's the external input unit. We're now going to have a look at the uh, filters one and two. Go through filter one first. Now filter one is the original 4600 synth filter. It has a low pass, band pass and high pass mode. It has a high and low range and a tune control with a level output. I will show this using some white noise, which uh, allows you to actually hear the, the filter uh, working quite easily. So I'll just put some uh, noise through it. Just need to uh, turn the output down a little bit. Okay, so this will be in low pass mode first. I'll turn the tune control. And on the lower range. Band pass mode. And high pass mode.
course, you can, uh, uh, you wouldn't normally use, well, you could use white noise through the filters for effects, uh, but with a tone going through it, uh, you can, you can uh, get some really good sounds from it. Let's turn the output up a little bit now. What I've got now, I've got Transient Generator 2 controlling the CV input to the filter. So the transient generator will actually um, vary the, uh, the tune. You get some really, uh, really good uh, analog sounds from this. In the high pass mode. So that's uh, filter one. Right, well, moving on to filter two. Filter two was taken from the 3600 synthesizer. Um, the reason being that it has a variable Q factor in as much as it's got like a resonance control, which the filter one doesn't have. Um, the reason this was put in was because it gives it much more commercial sound. Uh, so I'll demonstrate that. Basically, it's a low pass filter. Uh, so if I have the resonance down low, it will sound very similar to filter one. If I turn the resonance up, you'll hear that sounds totally different now. And again, it can be controlled by any CV source, so. I've now connected Transient Generator 2 up to it. That's uh, filter two. Okay, so finally uh, we come to the joystick. The joystick control has uh, outputs. It produces a CV output in two directions, so two CV outputs. Um, for the x-axis, this way, there is also a level control, so you can adjust the maximum uh, output that you want. And there's also a switch that changes the direction, so it could produce a, a low voltage over this side and a high this, or vice versa if you flick the switch. Um, you can use it for controlling any device that's got a CV input. Um, I've just connected this up to two different filters. So I'm controlling one filter in one plane and the other filter in the other. I'll just demonstrate that. So that's one filter being controlled and in the other direction. And then anywhere in between. Wow, 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 wow,
So that's the joystick. And I think that concludes all the modules. And finally, I'd like to mention the patch board, which is really what makes this synthesizer so versatile. Um, it's the way of interconnecting all the inputs and outputs. That's control, uh, voltage inputs, outputs, and um, signals uh, from one module to the other. And just to have a look a bit closer, uh, this shows you all the outputs down this side, mix of one, two, three, four, five, all the way down there to the external inputs module. And then across the top, we have the inputs. So again, oscillators one through to four, filters, etc. We've got the control voltage input this side and the signal input that side. And all it's a case of doing, for example, to connect the keyboard controller to oscillator one, you just simply insert one of the patch pins into the board and that's done. That's connected it together. And as I say, with this method of interconnecting, you've got such a versatile way of, of linking all the modules together. That's the patch board.